Hey gang, it's time to play wrong or right. How does Face ID work? Face ID scans 30,000 points on your face using sensors, cameras, and dot projectors. It creates a 3D scan of your face that can be used to unlock your phone and verify payments. All this data is securely encrypted and stored on your phone. How does my phone track my steps? Um, someone follows you and counts? Nope. Using high-tech sensors, your phone considers its movement to calculate your average walking speed and how many calories you've burnt. Many step apps use satellite signals to calculate the distance you've moved. How is sleep tracking possible? Um, you sleepwalk in your track shoes? Uh-uh. Sleep tracking uses your phone sensors to see how much you move around at night. This data helps to find your sleep phases and if you're getting enough healthy sleep. To get the most precise results, keep your phone in your bed. How does my phone know someone is typing? Um, there are spies. Yet. The blinking ellipsis used to show a person was online. Today, it turns on when someone types a single character. When you send a message, it doesn't go through a cellular network, but through servers which tell you when there's new activity on the other end of the conversation. How do AirPods work? Um, they have a hamster running on a wheel inside? Not even close. AirPods are completely wireless, and each has its own built-in Bluetooth radio. You can pair them with any Bluetooth-equipped device, like a computer or Apple TV. They have sensors, so they only work when you put them in your ears and automatically pause once they're out. Who knows my phone's precise location? Your mother does? Well, so does mine. Cell companies give location data to the government and advertisers can buy it for marketing purposes. Often, you yourself let others use this data when you install certain apps. Even a free weather app can be to blame. If you don't pay for it, it has to make money somehow, right? How does auto-correction work? Uh, well, auto stands over your shoulder and checks your work. No. When you start typing on your phone, it's consulting the keyboard dictionary in the background to guess what you're really trying to say. If you type mulk, it'll most likely change it to milk because they're just one letter away. If you don't like your phone thinking for you, you can turn off autocorrection. How does predictive text know what I want to say? Uh, it uses a crystal ball. Nope. The suggestions for words and even phrases you can see on the bottom of the screen while typing are based on your previous conversations. Your phone also analyzes your writing style and even search history to help you type quicker. If you want to go even faster, you can set up customized text replacement and type just two letters instead of a whole phrase. Why does my phone overheat? It uh, wears wool sweaters in the summer? No. If your phone is warm, no worries. It doesn't have a fan to cool it down, and sometimes the heat stays within the metal frame. If it gets too boiling to hold, though, it's often a sign that something is wrong with your battery or hardware. How does AirDrop work? You uh, toss your phone off a skyscraper? No. AirDrop builds a Wi-Fi network between two devices by using Bluetooth technology. Both gadgets encrypt files and send them through a firewall, so it's more secure than sharing things via email and often a lot faster, too. How can true black help save battery? Oh, it's way better than fake black! Mm -mm. If you have a newer phone with an AMOLED or OLED screen, you can save battery by using a black wallpaper. This technology generates its own light and doesn't need backlighting, unlike older screens. So it won't waste battery lighting up black images on the screen. Why does my phone run out of battery so fast in the cold? Well, it's like running out of milk, only colder. Nope. Charging is all about chemical reactions. Your phone battery is packed with ions that keep traveling from one pole to another. Cold weather stops or slows down the current, and the battery thinks it's empty when in fact it's still full. Why do I have terrible reception in supermarkets? Well, it's not a great venue to receive your wedding guests. No. Many supermarkets are warehouses made of steel and concrete with refrigerated areas that have even more metal. Even a strong signal can't pass all these obstacles. The only way the signal from a nearby cell tower can get in is through open doors. Why does my phone refuse to work in crowds? 
Um, it prefers to go it alone? No. When all the phones at concerts, games, and big festivals, parades, and even rush hour traffic are trying to send and receive signals from nearby cell towers at the same time, well, they overload the network. Why do phones have several cameras these days? They like collecting them? No. Phone cameras work much like your eyes. They get images from several cameras and put them together to create one high-quality 3D model or a stereo image. Just one camera wouldn't let you take pictures in portrait mode and zoom in at the same time. Is a 48-megapixel phone camera really four times better than a 12-megapixel one? You betcha! No. In fact, it's not just about how many megapixels your phone has. It's about a good lens and a high-quality sensor that can work with all those pixels. So, a 12MP camera can take pictures that put a 48MP one to shame. Why can't you remove your phone battery anymore? It uh, has a lifetime appointment and can't be removed without cause. No. First, removable batteries made phones more bulky and less stylish. Second, built-in batteries are smaller and leave more room for extra features. They also let manufacturers play with shape and spice up rectangular phones. Finally, a sealed phone means a waterproof one. Is your phone really listening in? Yep, just like your gossipy neighbor. No. By default, it can. The onboard microphone is recording voice data for advertisers to accidentally offer you that dress you were just talking about. If you don't like that happening, try deactivating Hey Siri or turn off Google Assistant. Make sure the mic is off for apps like Facebook, too. How do ads travel from your phone to your desktop? Um, they're in cahoots. No. Advertisers want you to think it's fate that makes you see their product on both your phone and a totally unrelated laptop. They hire special companies to match your gadgets by your IP address, browser, and other details. No worries though, they don't care about your name or other personal data, they just link the devices. Why don't phones have home buttons anymore? Um, they'd rather have a home zipper? No. The call, back, and menu buttons were removed first, opening up space for larger screens. Without those buttons, phones became smoother and seamless. The physical home button was replaced by a touch-sensitive alternative or even gesture navigation. This also made the phone more durable. Can other gadgets eat up my phone Wi-Fi? Why yes, your garbage disposal is especially good at that! Mm, no. Actually, microwave ovens, wireless doorbells, and even hair dryers or sewing machines can often get between your phone and the Wi-Fi signal. They use a frequency similar to your routers. Newer Wi-Fi gadgets let you choose between frequencies, so opt for 5 GHz bands if you can. Does the hand I'm holding my phone in matter? Well, actually, try holding it with your left foot for the best reception. <laughs> no. Danish scientists tested 20 popular phone models and found that older iPhones and most tested models do better when held in the right hand. Older Samsungs, on the contrary, are more productive in the left hand. This is because your body interferes with the phone signal. Newer models work equally well in either hand, though. Why does my phone always say it's out of memory? Um, I forget. No. Even if you have almost nothing on your phone, it has pre-installed apps, operating systems, and other inhabitants. When you're trying to install an app, there could be enough space to store it, but not enough to process it. Try clearing your cache, saving your photos to an SD card, and a factory reset as a last resort. Bye bye